Welcome to Gospel Greetings, Practical Encouragement for Living Out Your Faith in the Marketplace. This week, we continue our series called Signs of the Times. Last week, we turned our minds towards prayer and looked at 1 Thessalonians 5. Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Paul directed the Thessalonians to have continual joy, prayer, and thankfulness and that in this, God's will was actually being fulfilled. This week, we continue with prayer and consecration from Colossians 3. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you'll receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. How many times have you reached the end of the workday and realized you didn't include God? For me, too many times to count. Especially in my previous entrepreneurial role, I found I was constantly on the go. If I wasn't running to the office, rushing to the next meeting, or putting my head down to get some financials done. Each day was like a race against the clock. I was so focused on getting things done that I often found I'd forget to invite God into my workday. And I'd feel it by the end of the day. Often it looked like impatience or a lack of tolerance for other people. Other times it looked like emotional exhaustion from the rat race. Every now and then it was pure frustration over all the obstacles. Now, I still experience some of this, even with a conscious effort to give my ministry to God. But with prayer and concert, consecration, it is overcome by God's perfect peace and the reassurance that no matter what my day looks like, God has got it. My ministry days are now filled with human need. So more than ever, I need supernatural resources to minister with the love of Christ. This has encouraged me to be more intentional with how I start my day, praying over my day and creating room for God to take his place as Lord over the ministry and the people I'm stewarding. This has transformed the way I approach ministry, and I wish I had put this into practice sooner. I believe that consecrating or giving over your business to God, then praying over your work or business is something Christians should do daily, even if it's just for a minute or two, to see God move in and through us in the work he's called us to do. Today from Colossians 3, we see scriptures to remind us to consecrate and then pray. We pray over our work days and business to receive God's grace for the day and align with God's purposes. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for enabling us to work and earn a living. Thank you for your continual provision and the opportunity we have to serve you through our work. May all that we do and say throughout our workday be done with the view of being an ambassador for Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.